हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग एब्सोल्युटली ग्रेट एंड स्टेइंग सेफ सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी विल बी कवरिंग द इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू लीनियर रिग्रेशन दीज आर सम ऑफ द वेरी बेसिक एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट लीनियर रिग्रेशन क्वेश्चन विच यू माइट कम अक्रॉस इन योर इंटरव्यूज ऑल्सो सो नाउ विदाउट एनी फर्दर रेड्यू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड नाउ द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दैट वॉट आर द अजम्पन्स ऑफ लीनियर रिग्रेशन मॉडल so there are many assumptions for example the assumption of linearity that means your independent variable and your dependent variable should be you know linearly related with e- with each other other assumptions like multi collinearity heteroscedasticity or normality are also there right now it is very important to study these assumptions in detail why because there could be many cross questions from what you explain to the interviewer and how you will explain it now this brings us to our second question that what could be the test for assumptions and what could be the remedies that we can take in case the assumptions are violated for example uh, if we want to check for multi collinearity if we want to you know test for multi collinearity we can check that using vif or correlation extra uh, correlation etc and if multi collinearity exists remedy for the same is that you know we can remove some of the variables similarly uh, the remedy for heteroscedasticity is that you know we can apply some of the transformation and then we can apply linear regression on that particular variable so i would suggest to go through the tests and remedies for all the assumptions in detail now the third question is that what happen if there is multi collinearity in your model in this case if your main goal is to just predict your target variable right if you just want to predict the target variable then multi collinearity won't bother you much right but if you want to interpret your model and you want to you know gain some insights out of your model then the multi collinearity will cause you a problem why because you will not be able to judge the impact of each and every independent variable on your target variable separately right because changing one variable will result in changing another correlated independent variable and the impact of both these combined will be reflected in your target variable so the interpretation of your coefficients won't be reliable right for example let's say i have three features in my data x1 x2 x3 and i have variable y as target variable now let's say x1 x1 and x2 are correlated with, with each other and i will say let's say um x1 is twice of x2 right so if x1 is 1 x2 is 2 and x3 is let's say 5 and y the target variable is let's say 8 so now if i'll change x1 and i'll make it 2 then my x2 will also become 4 and x3 will remain 5 and let's say y has become 10 now so now i i so now i won't be able to judge the impact of only x1 on y right because changing x1 will automatically change x2 also so that is why the coefficients of my variables won't be reliable and i won't be able to interpret my model nicely coming to the fourth question that how do you find the best fit line now i also discussed this in brief in my previous video also there are usually uh two common methods to find this one is ordinary least square method and another is gradient descent method there could be some questions based on you know how both these methods work and how they are different from each other and you know in which scenarios we should use which kind of methods and so on now the fifth question is that what can be done if your model is overfitted now regularization is a technique which you can implement if your model is overfitted and there are mainly two types of regularization technique that is you know ridge and lasso these two are main types of regularization techniques so go through both these techniques in detail and you know you should be able to explain that when should we go for which kind of regularization technique and how these two are different from each other and all now the next question is that is it possible to apply linear regression if the number of data points you know if the number of uh, records are less than the number of features if not then why then the answer is no it is not possible because statistically it is not possible to model this because uh, we have studied in our school days also that you know let's say if you have three variables then you should have at least three equations to find out the value of uh, those three unknown variables so similarly here also if you have three variables and you want to find out the coefficients of 
all the three variables then you should have at least three data points from which you can uh, from which you can make three equations in order to find out these three coefficients right now the another kind of questions that interviewer might ask you could be related to your regression analysis in excel in excel also you can apply regression and you can see the analysis in this format so they might ask you that what do you mean by r square or adjusted r square and what is the difference between these two and what is standard errors and so on and so forth they might also ask you about how, what these um, sum of square values means or you know how to interpret this t stead and p values also so yeah that is all for this video in case you guys came across some different kind of linear regression interview questions please do let me know in the comment sections below and yeah i'll meet you all super soon in my next video uh, please do like share and subscribe to my channel till then take care thank you